I'm an artist, uh, and since 2010, I have been researching the process of virtual surveillance of the US-Mexico border, ex executed by civilians. Uh, this surveillance is done through online platforms, which appear during the rise of the social networking services, and their structure was adopted as a low-cost and more pervasive way to monitor the border. The outcomes of this research, that's what I'm going to present here, uh, resulted in two net-based artworks. Uh, one is called the Texas Border, which is the one that uh, some of you could see at the exhibition yesterday, and uh, Arizona Move and Get Shot, which is uh, a more recent one. While the Texas Border explores the civilian use of uh, internet surveillance infrastructure provided by the state of Texas uh, to monitor the border, uh, Arizona Move and Get Shot reveals how surveillance is carried out by private means. Both pieces point towards a possible militarization of civil society through the activity of using web-based cameras to watch immigrants crossing the border. This activity, when combined with social media, becomes a potentially recreational activity in which players are actually disengaged border officers. So uh, now I'm going to um, basically show like all the process behind these two pieces. And uh, this is the first one, it's the Texas border, which I'm going to explain again. It's an audiovisual installation in which the recorded broadcast of surveillance cameras placed along the US-Mexican border in Texas are shown. And these cameras are part of an internet-based platform called Blue Cerebro, which I'm going to introduce later. So this is the piece. Okay, so um, it's, uh, this is the online version of the piece. Uh, the exhibition is like the installation version, but they are pretty much the same. So here, what we can see in the left side, we can see like the, these are like real-time uh, camera signals that they extracted from this uh, Blue Servo platform, which I'm going to show. This is not real-time because of uh, technical uh, uh, complications, but they are supposed to be. And the right side, we have like uh, 64 videos which uh, show um, detentions uh, carried out by anonymous uh, Blue Servo users, by, thanks to the reports of uh, these civilians that went into the website and uh, made reports. So these reports would go straight to the sheriff office. And those people crossing, you see a raft here? This person was detained. No, and, and all of the videos of people here is people that was detained, were detained, sorry. So I'm going back. Mm -mm. Sorry, it's a bit mess because I have to show uh, a lot of things. Okay, so this is Blue Servo, and this is the platform I was talking about. And Blue Servo allows citizens to sign up as virtual deputies and participate in border surveillance. Virtual Texas deputies monitor the streaming videos from these cameras 24-7 and report any suspicious activities directly to the border sheriff via email. And all emails, and this is important, are submitted anonymously. So basically, you can do anything you want, you can say anything you want without taking any kind of responsibility, just sending an email and see what happens. So I'm going to show you the platform. This is the platform. Uh, here you have, like, you see, like, all the cameras. Here you have, like, these archives that it's 64 videos, more or less, of uh, the detentions. And there is all kind of information. If you're interested, I really recommend you to go in. The thing is that you need to make an account in order to log in, but it's really easy. And this is actually, like, the, like the space where you monitor the border. Here you, you could just select any camera. Uh, these cameras stopped working in the beginning of this year due to uh, the, the Texas state just cut the funds and it's not working anymore. But uh, basically, here you could just select any camera you wanted, sit down and make a comment, ask a question, or report any suspicious activity. Okay. This is also important. Because according to Blue Servo, the sheriff had made 5,331 interdictions since the platform was launched in 2008 and have had 165 million hits, which is a lot. 
and uh, have had 2,000, around 2,000, 200,000 volunteers. That is almost, almost 1 million hours of free labor for the sheriff, okay? So, and this is another important um, date, data. Uh, like, uh, according to the Department of Homeland Security, around 327,000 people were arrested during 2011. You see that in terms of detaining people, it wasn't effective at all. No, but it was really effective in terms of keeping people watching the border. I mean, that's, that's important, okay? So, after I, I've discovered, uh, I, I found Blue Servo and I started to work with the cameras, my first question was, okay, so what's behind the cameras? Who is operating the cameras? Who, was, who are these civilians? What's uh, their, I mean, what's their, uh, why they're doing it, basically? So I started to make a lot of research and uh, on, in, on the internet, and I found uh, that they had actually a group on Facebook where they were actually interacting, and uh, it was like a social community, and they even created like effective laces, and this was very very interesting. So uh, one of the examples that this I took it from there. You know, this is a pictures that they generally took, these pictures from the camera, and they would just draw on them and just make some notes. You can see here, Amigo, when do we get our first welfare check, what a country, ha, 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 et cetera. That's, uh, they, they were doing a lot of these kind of things. Now the, the group is, uh, is uh, closed, but uh, it was very interesting as social, social research. So, for example, this is another. They had this uh, conversation going on at mystery teams, not in the other previous screenshots. Does anybody, anyone know what they are? And uh, another one would reply, well, maybe they are swimmers. So, at the end, they just discovered that they are like just branches and uh, leaves and anything. So, but yeah, I mean, it was like uh, that's what the kind of things I do. So, after seeing this, I said, okay, I would really like to interact with them, because to know what they are doing and who they are, and just to be part of them as a researcher. I mean, it's not orthodox research. I mean, it's a, uh, but uh, that's what I did. And I created this character. She's uh, Marianne Smith. And uh, she was, uh, she's, uh, that's a flash face uh, character. I mean, flash face is a software that allows you to create like police, um, police faces, you know? So I created this, uh, this character, and she was a very patriotic one, you know? So uh, you see, like, she was part of the Coast Guard, America stopped the invasions, U.S. Army, Marines, United States Air Force. So uh, even though I made it, like, very exaggerated, I thought that they would catch me in the spot. No way. They loved me, really. <laughs> So uh, it was very easy through Marianne to start asking questions. So this was the first interaction that uh, I did with her. So this was this lovely family. You see the, the husband with the two kids. I say, what's going on on camera one? I could see something moving, but I'm not sure if it's an alien. That's pretty much, you, you know exactly uh, how they call like, the Americans uh, immigrants. They call them aliens. which. Uh, so uh, she said, I saw lots of activity about an hour ago, several people moving back and forth, etc., etc. And then I said, I hope none of them got uh, to the US. You think it might be drug dealers? <laughs> and then she said, I don't know. I reported it. Then I thought, maybe they are just fishing. You know? But first, I made the report. And I didn't take any responsibility in the report and, and what this report might mean. You know? So then I started to tease them a little bit. So, oh, but maybe they're taking our fishes too. Is there any law against it? I have. Then I didn't get any reply, of course. So uh, I just went on and on. I have time, okay. Uh, so there was this guy. I mean, we had like a very interesting conversation uh, about whether a piece of land was part of the, was uh, Mexican or was American. And uh, it was pretty interesting. There was a, they, no one was really sure. So it was an interesting conversation. And after that, after I went a little bit in, I tried to discover where the cameras were. Uh, so I wanted to, to know someone from the inside, like from Bruxelles itself, that, uh, itself, that 
would tell me where the cameras were. Okay, so this guy, Milton Grammer, he's part of Lucervo. After he never said, I mean, it's kind of a sacred thing. It's like they have this code that they won't ever say it, but he was part of it. So eventually, he he actually told me where some of the cameras were, and uh, I mean it. I was really proud because I, I succeeded on uh, finding out something. And um, okay, that was the story of Marianne inside uh, inside Facebook. Okay, that's the piece of land I told you about that uh, we were discussing whether it was Mexican or, or American. And uh, okay, then I will go really briefly through this project because then I decide I said okay, it would be really nice to have like uh, interesting for me to have like a diary of uh, Marianne, um, Marianne trip inside Facebook. So I did this project. I will show it to you very, very fast. It, uh, it was supposed like an uh, open-ended narrative platform. It was like an online novel. But uh, at the end, I just, uh, this was Marianne in the US-Mexico border. No, like she was here, she was, she was supposed to start in Brownsville and to go to Tijuana. But at the end, uh, I don't know, it was useful for me to, to just have like a database of all the things I did, but uh, it wasn't serious enough, I didn't want it. It was just nice as a database, that's it. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't publish it. So after that, uh, I said, okay, so there for sure there might be much uh, other virtual communities, virtual watch communities in the internet, because I was just focusing on the internet. And uh, yeah, I found quite a lot of uh, communities that they were watching uh, the border and basically keeping a lot of pictures from immigrants crossing and uh, uh, videos and etc. It was a big community in the internet. And um, so this is one of the three of uh, one of the strongest one. Techno Patriots was founded in July 2007 by John Healy in Arizona. It was the first one to public broadcast live webcams and make them accessible to viewers all over the world. This uh, website is not working anymore and it's uh, something interesting that most of those websites are not active anymore. Now that uh, they were really uh, the rise, they went really together with the rest of uh, the network uh, social infrastructure, especially with Facebook. And because uh, they work in a very um, social uh, network basis, that's that's how they interact with them. Uh, sorry, the unexplained is very good. But I hope you understand me. So after this, I found uh, this website. It's called the Wireless Border Camps, and I think it was pretty interesting because they were using it was just private. What I explained in the beginning. I'm going to show you the the website. Mm -hmm. That's the website. No, like, like that's the platform open to the public. So here you can see like uh, photos from the border. They are, they are real time. Those are real time photos. And uh, here you can see like what's their aim, uh, what they want by showing these photos, by bringing these photos to the public, etc., etc. If someone is interested, I can just provide all the links after. So, uh, basically, that's a platform. Now, it used to be, uh, there used to have six cameras, but now they just have three. I think it's uh, because of economic, uh, economic um, matters. So, basically, you can just select any camera here, and you would go inside. And here, you see, that's, uh, actually, that's from the 28th of uh, September. It's pretty new. Whoops, yeah, that's what I asked. Whatever, you can see it here. So basically here I like, have like 127 pictures. These cameras, how they work, they're wireless cameras and they have motion sensors. So every time anything is moving, the camera would shoot a picture. So basically 90% of the pictures that the camera is taking is like uh, animal or natural flows. I mean, the amazing, maybe like 10% is uh, it's, uh, really immigrants. But uh, they keep on, on using them, and uh, basically that's, they keep on using them all the time, even though they are not really effective in terms of detaining people. So that's when um, us move and get shot. It's, this is my last uh, piece. 
uh, which is based on this platform. I released it in 2012. Uh, so basically, now you can see some of the videos. Uh, what I'm doing with this piece is I, I, I built a robot, which uh, every day is going to their server, is taking like all the new pictures and is adding it at the end of uh, each video. So like the movie is expanding at the rhythm of, uh, of the movement in the Arizona borderland. So here you can see like from the beginning, it was uh, October 2011 when I started. It's actually, it's uh, two years ago now. And you can see like all the pictures that the cameras took until now, you see. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it's, so this, I mean, really, it's like, uh, it's uh, natural and animal flows most of the time. And what's the most interesting thing here is that you, this is, those are the owners, right? like this fat lady with the dog, and uh, you can see them, how they fix the cameras, so uh, it's a really familiar thing, actually. And they broadcast it uh, live. So, okay, those... Now those were border patrol, those animals, okay, those, yeah, those were immigrants crossing. Yeah. <laughs> this is from September, actually. Yeah. So, <laughs> those uh, videos are available on the, on, the, on the net, on my website, which I'm going to give it to you now. Yeah. And this is, uh, okay, just uh, to point it like really briefly, like just um, the brief history of uh, these, uh, they call them native extremist groups. They generally, all of them, it's what I told you, they have like a very strong based, uh, internet-based platforms uh, from which they operate main, uh, in part. And I just wanted to, to see like the race was really in 2007, 2009, which was, you can really see that in, besides other facts, the fact that Obama took uh, charge and everything, um, like the social, uh, you can see like the social networking uh, services, they also went up. So uh, that's it. Thank you.